Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Uh, and this week's video, we're going to talk about another enhanced uh, Park Assist. Uh, last week, we talked about the Active Park Assist 2.0, and that that was going to be, you can find that in the Escape, in the Explorer, and the F-150 for 2021. Uh, but some people asked about the Expedition and even the Edge. Well, the Edge and the Expedition get a different Park Assist. It's not the Active Park Assist 2.0. So this week's video, we're going to uh, show you the enhanced Active Park Assist, which helps you parallel park the vehicle, reverse perpendicular park, as well as park out. So it has a lot of the same features. Uh, but this system does not actually uh, affect the shifting of the vehicle. You still have to shift it, and you don't press a button and, and hold it the whole time. So we're going to show you the clip that I did. Now this has been several years now uh, that we recorded this video, but the Enhanced Park Assist has not changed since it came out in the Edge uh, many years ago. So uh, check out this video uh, where we talk about the Enhanced Active Park Assist that you can find on the 21 Edge and the 21 Expedition on this week's Tech Tuesday with Tim. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, the e-commerce director at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to talk about the enhanced park assist. Not only the parallel park, but the perpendicular park, as well as the park in and out. So it's a great system. I'm going to show you on this Edge Sport how that works. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to parallel park this uh, vehicle. Now, a lot of people don't realize is that this will allow you to parallel park on not only the right side, which we typically see as we're driving down streets, uh, but some occasionally we are on those streets that where you can park on either side you're in a one way one uh, one way street and you could park on either side so if you see a spot that you think it'll fit in uh, to park on the left side all you would need to do is put your left turn signal on so we're going to actually demonstrate that because our obstacle up ahead as you can see is on the left side of the vehicle so we're going to go ahead as we get a little closer uh, we'll go ahead and activate it um, because we only have two cars set up, it would actually tell us that we can have a spot here on the left. So I'm going to wait until we get beside this vehicle and set that active park. Okay, so uh, you just press the button here, the active park assist. And as you'll see, as you do that, it asks for your parallel park. So I'm going to hit my left turn signal and you'll see it sensor moves to the left side. And it says it's scanning for a spot. So it says it found one, go ahead and pull forward. Now, it actually wanted me to park behind that vehicle, so I'm going to pull forward just a little bit further so that we can park between them here. Okay, so it says pull forward to the starting position. And once it gets us to that spot, it'll tell us to stop, put it in reverse, and remove our hands. So that's really great. So just take my hands off of it, and I just work the brake and the gas. Actually, just the brake because I'm I'm just letting the brake off, and it's and then it's going slowly. So. And this spot, as you can see, is very tight. Uh, Ford has probably the smallest um, space that it allows you to, to park in. I think it's 1.2 times the distance. Um, I think uh, Mercedes is next with like 1.4. So you're going to see just how tight this spot is. We're going to park that in a really close spot. And what's great about this, uh, the newer system, this is an enhanced park assist. Not only will it par par parallel park us, but it will also allow us to get out. Because we're going to be so tight in this spot that we're probably going to need assistance in getting out. So I'll show you how that works as we get parked here. As you can see, the forward and back, just how much it's taking. Now in a, small, in a bigger spot, it'd probably only back up once, go forward once, and you're done. Uh, because this is so, so tight, it's, uh, it's making it go back and forth quite a bit. Now it says it's finished. So now we've just parked the vehicle in probably the smallest spot that I've seen. Uh, we actually, we put the vehicle here and, back, and backed up the, for, the vehicle in front of us as close as we could. And the one in behind us, we pulled forward so it was real tight. So now to, to get out of this spot, you're going to hit that park button again, the active park assist button. So you're going to press it and the screen's going to ask you which side. So we're going to put the right turn signal on. Okay, it says to shift to forward, remove our hands again, and again we're going to go forward and back until we're out. So now shift in the reverse, work in the brake, pull forward. Oh, there's a driver that just came by, so it canceled it. Let's try this again. It's 
It's kind of nice that it actually, as a, a car was coming by, it, it actually canceled it for us. Now at that point it says take the steering wheel, so you're in control at that point. So a uh, really nice system. So that's how to parallel park as well as park out. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, set up for our uh, perpendicular park, which is really great. An enhanced park assist will not only allow us to find those uh, parallel parking positions, but allow us to perpendicular park. So what it does is it backs us up in those parking spots. So we're going to go ahead and set that up, and you can check that out as well. Okay, so we just uh, got done parallel parking and parking out, so you know how to do that. So now we're in a parking spot and you're trying to find a, and you want to perpendicular park your vehicle. So maybe you're at a shopping mall, grocery store, something like that. Some of these spots are, you know, spots are a little tight. So we're going to show you how to perpendicular park your vehicle. So what it does is it actually backs it up into that spot. So um, great view here. So again, we're going to hit this uh, button here. And as we do, go ahead and look at the screen. We're going to press it first time it looks for a per parallel park. Now we're going to press it a second time, perpendicular park. So, and now it's looking on the right side. It defaults to the right side, but it can look on the left too if you see a spot. So, it says scanning, scanning. So it found a spot. Pull forward, okay. Now it says put it in reverse, take your hands off the wheel. So we're going to do that. And it's going to start turning us into that spot. It does take a little bit, a couple times here. It, it, I, we noticed that it wants to come more at an angle. Um, that's pretty close. I don't know why it's not stopping me. There we go. So then we pull forward. It's going to turn us. I usually wait till the steering wheel completely turns and is done before I start actually pulling forward. Okay, as you can see, we're almost straight back now. It's going to start backing us back into that spot. So, like you say, right there, just backs us in. So now we're actually ready. We're done. So now we're ready to go ahead. When we get, when we go to leave, we can just pull right out. So, a uh, real nice system. Uh, pretty neat. So now you can not only parallel park your vehicle, but perpendicular park. So, comes in real handy on those tight parking lots, especially if you have a longer vehicle. So hope you enjoyed that video and I guess it is a little dated but all the uh, um, the technology is the same now as it was back then and uh, so you can see how that system works and again that system is what you're you can find in the Expedition as well as the uh, 2021 Edge. Uh, of course we may see that change in the near future and when we do of course we'll, we'll update that this uh, video and we'll talk about that uh, but this that is the park assist you're going to see if uh, you're looking for you know the escape uh, the Explorer and the F-150 does get the active uh, Park Assist 2.0 uh, where it does do the shifting for you and you just hold a button on the entire time uh, for that system. So again, that, that video we'll have, I'll have down in the description as well as in the uh, link down there at the end of the video. So you can uh, watch that video if you'd like to, if you missed it from last week. Uh, but hopefully these, uh, these two videos help you out. Now, if you're looking for, you know, a park assist on some other vehicles, Ford doesn't have it in some of the smaller vehicles. So Echo Sport, you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it on the Ranger. Uh, not going to see it on the Super Duty yet uh, and some of those vehicles. Uh, so if you're looking for some of the others, they're not available just because of the size of the vehicle for the most part. So again, uh, hopefully you did watch this video and enjoy it. Uh, you can check out Law MacArthur. We do a bunch of different walk around videos. We call them our complete guides. We cover all the standard equipment as well as optional equipment on different model Ford models specific to each trim so check those videos out check our YouTube channel out hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell you also get notified the next time we have another video upload to our YouTube channel so hopefully you did like this if you did smash the like button share it out to somebody if you want to share it to them if they have an expedition or an edge that you think they may uh, come in handy and they may want to see this uh, this video and as always, don't forget you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So you can learn more about Law MacArthur on any of those social media sites. Again, thanks for watching this video. And until next week, we'll see you later.